not just listing complaints. So I need everybody's help. So a lot of people, Democrats and Republicans, Let's see if my they asked me, did you vote for President Obama? And honestly, it's they working. weren't that nice about it when they asked me, if you know what I mean. Oh, and when I said I did, they said they couldn't vote for me. And it was their polite way of showing their bigotry. Yeah, and it was everywhere. It was everywhere. But you know what? His term is up in 17 months. I want to move on past that issue. So they beat me over the head with gay marriage. They told I me I was this. part of the degenerate party. Yes, and I told them, hey, I love everybody just the same, oh even Republicans. <laughs> so, yes, so since the Supreme Court has ruled and made that decision, hopefully that will be used against us Democrats in the next election. So let's move on to the next one. And this one's actually big. This is the elephant in the room, wow. no pun intended. But once again, I'm just telling you about my experience on the campaign trail. And this one actually might make you all a little uncomfortable. Okay. And I'm, you know, what we have to talk about abortion. I'm not it's trying to get anyone to change their mind. I am not trying to get abortion. anyone to change their position. Let me check but I was around. viciously attacked verbally, and I was humiliated on a regular basis in nearly every bipartisan, Let's see if I can bipartisan town hall meeting, high auction, chili cook-off, and in nearly every small town um, town hall forum I attended. And believe me, there were many. I was called out on it, and I was told very publicly that all Democrats were for abortion by preachers, by ministers, oh my and goodness. angry yeah. and vocal Christians. It's and even common, though I told think them all I was Democrats Catholic, will... But I don't honestly Support know what abortion. made them angry or the fact life. that I was a Democrat or the fact that I was Catholic. <laughs> but, but collectively, we need to decide how we need to handle this. Nobody is for abortion. Nobody is for abortion. Yes. But, but when a preacher calls you out in front of 300 people and asks why you kill babies, and every one of those people in that audience stands up and cheers for that preacher, you better believe you have to have an answer for that. Now, we all answer that we want a woman to have the right to choose. We're concerned for women's health, and that's actually the right answer. But they don't want to hear that answer. And let me tell you why this issue is going to be so important right now. Because it's in the media right now. That's true. And this is relevant. one of the reasons Abortion we are losing a lot of our elections. And many Democrats are voting Republican because of this single issue. And they are told by their preachers they can't be a Christian and be a Democrat. Now, it is the truth. And I heard it firsthand. Now, I am for people making their own medical choices between themselves and their doctor. But in my personal life, which is separate from my political life, I'm pro-life. And a lot of Democrats are. We have to give Christians a way to be able to vote Democrat. And honestly, I don't have the answer. And that's why I'm...